This watch retails for £108 in the UK and around $115 in the US. And you know what? It may not be a bad shout. Hello, hello everyone. Welcome back to the Vintage Warlock channel. I hope you are all safe and well. And today we are going to be having a look at another AliExpress watch from a brand that are well known on AliExpress, which is the Mercure brand. And this watch retails, as I said before, for just over £100 or just over $100. And you know what? I've had this watch for a while now, for a couple of weeks, and I think it's I think it's okay. I think it's pretty good. Now, before we get into the review, I want to just give you guys a very quick disclaimer. This watch has been sent to me for free and I do not have to send it back. This watch was sent to me by the official Mercure store. I'll put links to them in below. These are affiliate links. They won't cost you any extra, but if you do buy the watch, it will give a few pennies, a few schmeckles in the VW purse so I can go out and buy some more watches for review. As such, this review is indeed sponsored. Um, however, I am still trying to be as impartial as possible and I'm going to give you the most honest appraisal that I can. Now, this watch comes in two different colorways. You've got a silvery style dial, which looks more white on the pictures, and you've also got a salmon pink dial as well. I opted for the salmon pink dial for two reasons. First of all, I think it's got a bit more personality about it. And secondly, I don't have any salmon dials in my collection. The closest one I have in my collection to a salmon dial is the Smith's Vintage watch, which is more of a goldy color. So I really wanted to have something that was a little bit different in my collection. With that in mind, let's rattle through the specifications of this watch. So the brand name is Mercure. However, on the watch, this is uh, Pierre Paulin, which I think is going to be a sub brand of the Mercure brand. It is a 38 millimeter diameter case. It is 12 mil thick, but part of that thickness is down to a lovely piece of domed crystal. Um, you've also got a 20 mil uh, bandwidth, and this is a mechanical hand winding movement. Finally, this has 50 meters of water resistance, a lug to lug of 45 millimeters. The case construction is 316L stainless steel, and the movement is a Mercure self-developed manual hand wind movement. I'm not sure if this is based on a Miyota or a Siegel movement, um, but this watch uh, hand winds, of course, but it doesn't hack. However, I'm not too worried about that because with small second hand watches, I feel that the accuracy is probably Probably less important because you're looking at a more vintage aesthetic than you would be if you had a big seconds hand but that's just me and I'm weird now if there is one thing that you have to give this watch props for it is the looks in my opinion this is a very attractive and a very good looking watch and that is aided in part by the dial being the salmon color and the way that they've designed that and being a little bit different from what you would expect um, but also I think it is down to the distortion that's put down from this domed crystal now I've used my words very carefully it is domed crystal it is not sapphire crystal it is mineral crystal however i think that this is a very nice piece of mineral crystal but it's mineral crystal nonetheless 316L stainless steel construction of this watch is mostly brushing on the case, which I think is no bad thing. It makes the watch look pretty nice. Underneath that nice piece of distorted mineral crystal, you've got a dial that I think is legible and very easy to read. You've got 12, 3 and 9. And then at the 6 o'clock, you've got the 6 o'clock sort of half cut out where you've also got the minute track as well. Our markers indicate the rest of the... Um, batons on the inner dial on the outer dial you've got a lovely minute track signed crown as well on this watch this is a push pull crown uh, that you obviously need to use to hand wind and then on the back of this watch you have what looks to be an engraving of a lion and the writing design and made by the mercure watch group and then you've also got what looks like some 
coordinates and that might be for the head office I'm, I'm not sure but this is a screw on case back the leather strap on this watch is genuine leather and it is suede leather which is incredibly comfortable very pliable and sits nicely on the wrist however i've only been wearing this watch now for two weeks i've pretty been wearing it solidly every day for two weeks but i can start to see some marks and some strain marks on the leather strap and i'm guessing that's pretty much because this watch strap is incredibly supple and it fits very nicely on wrist but i'm guessing there's going to be a trade-off with that you also have quick release as well which is a bit of a godsend i quite like a watch that has quick release straps now as I mentioned before this is a 20 mil uh, lug width but the leather band on here does taper dramatically and i feel that that also adds to what or appears to be a very vintage aesthetic to this watch on wrist this watch sits very nicely in fact i can see this watch being a good daily driver for somebody who wants something a little bit different but also something which can conform quite nicely to the wrist and be available or able to be worn with either a shirt and tie or jeans and t-shirts or even t-shirt and shorts if you're feeling brave enough so specifications and initial impressions to you to one side i'm going to do a section which i haven't done in a while now and i'm doing this because this is sponsored content and i want to be as impartial and as critical as possible and I'm going to do the section of what I like about this watch and what I'm not so keen on about this watch. Straight out the gate we're going to have a look at what I like about this watch. So first of all I think I've made no secret about this during the uh, review. I do like the design of this watch. I think it is a good design. I like the brushing of the case. I like the domed mineral crystal. Yes it is mineral crystal. It would be much better if it was sapphire. However the fact that they have domed this mineral crystal I think just give it a couple of plus points for me if it was domed sapphire it would have a massive um, tick in the box but i think dome mineral still okay uh, the signed crown as well I think is quite nice there seems to be um, a little bit of more thought that have gone into the design of this watch and also I quite like how this wears on the wrist and I like the salmon dial I also like the Mercure brand too and I like the fact that this has an international warranty uh, which is 24 months and when the watch arrived it was in great order but it comes in a nice case with a big uh, instruction booklet that no one will ever read and some other bits and pieces too including a polishing cloth now that we've looked at what I like about this watch let's have a look at what I'm not so keen on and really this is more of a nitpick section than anything else but I'm going to go with it anyway so the first thing that I'm going to do is we're going to go back to the dial and have a look at two aspects of the dial the first aspect is the hands so I feel as if both the hour and the minute hands are just slightly small for the dial I feel as if if they were a little bit longer that they would look a little better on the dial itself it's not by any means awful but I feel that when you've got skeletonized syringe style hands which is what you've got here you could probably do with making it a little bit longer plus I feel as if the hour hand doesn't quite hit the hour track and the minute hand doesn't quite hit the minute track and I think that if you just extended those a little more it would look a little better and it would go together quite nicely the second thing that I'm going to talk about on the dial is actually with the branding. So this is part of the Mercure group and they're big to put Mercure group on pretty much all of the branding that you can see. But the dial, however, says the Pierre Paulin on that, which is obviously part of the Mercure group. And that would be fine on its own. However, when you look at the crown, the, the logo on the crown looks to be part of the Mercure group's logo. It's the M for Mercure. And then on the strap as well, which I'll get to in a moment, there is the Mercure watch group strap on the buckle. Now, I have no problem with this from a aesthetic point of view, but this is more of a branding issue now. And if you look at brands like San Martin that used to have different types of logos going on and you weren't sure what they were going to have, you can start to see a very similar problem coming in with Mercure. Now, I have a degree in business and a master's degree in business. I have an MBA. And two of the things that I really like about business is looking at strategy and branding is a big part of strategy and making sure that you have a clear branding and clear design aesthetic throughout is incredibly important. Mercure haven't done badly in this but they have missed the mark when it comes to the dial and they have missed a bit more of an opportunity. And then lastly, the last thing that I'm going to nitpick is the crystal. As I said to you before, I don't mind the crystal. It is a nice bit of domed mineral crystal. But just imagine 
if this was a domed sapphire crystal. I feel this watch would be flying off the shelves if it was domed sapphire. It's not domed sapphire, it's domed mineral crystal. I still think it's definitely a good piece of mineral crystal but it's not sapphire and I feel that will put some people off. So if you're in the market for something a little bit different and if you've got a hundred pounds to spend or a hundred dollars to spend or just over that amount you could do worse than looking at Mercure. Mercure do have a nice watch here. There are some things that need to be improved upon and need to be worked on however I think on the whole this watch is definitely one to have a look at and potentially one that you could pick up for a good price at the sale. But guys, what do you think of this watch? Let me know in the comments below. If you have any feedback, any questions for me, again, please let me know. Don't forget, I've got links in the description to uh, the affiliate store on AliExpress. And I've also got links to my Instagram page and my Amazon store. Guys, take care and I will see you all in a future video.